Well, there is an intense manhunt this afternoon for the gunman who shot and injured a New York City police officer. Today, we're learning more about that rookie officer who is now on the men. CBS News' John Diaz live at Jamaica Hospital in Queens with new information. And, John, we now know his name. And thank heavens that officer is doing much better. Chris, good afternoon to you. Yeah, well, multiple police agencies and even politicians have identified this injured police officer as 22-year-old Brett Bowler, saying that he is from Hopog, Long Island. We can tell you this afternoon that he is expected to be okay. He already underwent surgery, and he is now listed in stable condition here at the hospital. As for the suspect here in this case, detectives telling us there is now a $10,000 reward for information leading to his arrest. <laughs> And cell phone video captures the heroic seconds. Members of the NYPD are seen getting one of their own medical help, carrying 22 year old rookie cop Brett Bowler into a police car <laughs> and rushing him to the hospital. You could watch as some cars frantically move out of their path. And in this video, a state trooper is seen blocking traffic for the NYPD. Police say around 3.30 yesterday afternoon, Bowler was shot in the hip by this man in the area of Jamaica Avenue and 161st Street. After detectives say the suspect got into a dispute on an MTA bus with another passenger over a seat. The suspect then ran when Bowler and his partner showed up. And police say fired at the officers as they chased him. One bullet hitting bowler his partner fired back that suspect who has a tattoo on his left hand with the name jocelyn is still on the run he should be considered armed and dangerous bowler is just a rookie cop he graduated from the police academy at the end of last year he was appointed to the police department in july of last year assigned to this command in january of this year Today, Mayor Eric Adams stopped by to check on the hospitalized officer for a second time. He also visited yesterday and spoke with the officer's family. You know, the, the mom whispered in my ear. She stated, I recalled at the graduation ceremony how you talked about your mother exhale for the first time after you retired. She's still holding her breath. His mother was seen walking out of their hop hog house today. She understandably didn't want to talk on camera, but her neighbor did. He's a good kid. He chose to be a police officer, following the foots of his father. And um, yeah, it, it, you know, didn't wouldn't expect this to happen so early on. Now, as for that suspect, it is still unclear if he was injured in this shooting, you know, if he was shot at when Bowler's partner fired back. We are told, though, that after this shooting, he actually ditched some of his clothes, and he was last seen by a parking garage near 161st Street and Hillside Avenue. Now, please tell us if you have any information to give them a call. But for now, we are live this afternoon from Jamaica, Queens. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.